Hey folks, I'm Mysterious JG, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Ah, oh, the fact I just looked at gave me a depressing little thing. Just to say that, oh, and you know, once you have the tactics down for fighting these two enemies, they meant precepts, guards, and geo, whatever, you'll be at level 30 in no time. And I'm like, man, no wonder things have been pretty easy. Um, I got about 150% of the levels that uh, I guess I'm supposed to have. Um... The accessories you steal from the oversold monsters are um, short circuit, which I got and was like, eh, I don't think I'd use that often anyway, though it's not bad. And then uh, I guess the other one, which I think we got once, was the one that gi it gives you auto regen, which again is like, that's not a bad accessory, but it's not something I'd probably use that much. Uh, I'll but I did check and see the sequence in which it, it is wise to do these, and this is a little path that takes you to some treasure, and then dead ends. So let's go here first. What the? Oh, we're. Oh, okay, yeah. You score the downtrotter garment grid, which allows you to downtrod. Gives you gravity eater. Double HP, A. Eh? That's not bad. That's not bad at all for certain fights. Um. Gravity Eater is not... I mean, if you're going up against certain enemies, it's great. Uh, if you're going up against enemies that use gravity, great. If you're going up against enemies that don't, worthless, of course. But uh, double HP, not bad at all. Although I'm thinking battles where that would really help you are ones where you're under... Where you're getting... Like, I'm thinking of a particular boss battle uh, near the end of the game. Or uh, optional boss. But that thing just tears HP off you at such a rate that you probably don't have time to be messing around with changing sphere. Uh with the garment gitch, grid stuff, but, you know, we want to get as many of these as we can. And then you rode across the tiny little gap, because if you'd fallen in, you would have disappeared into a hell of smoke and pain. I guess. Oh. Didn't I figure this out? I guess I gotta do it again. Oh yeah, I um, by my own design, I'm actually fighting enemies. I could put on Charm Bangle, but I'm kind of hoping to eventually run into um, the guy who. So you have to approach from the side that's lit. But I managed to figure out that vexing puzzle. And ready to continue forward into what will undoubtedly turn out to be another puzzle. Oh, I was right, actually. Riku is confused by things. Hey. And she has weird eyes. Hey, it's a chance for everybody to see my good stuff. Uni! I have an unusual number of bows wrapped around my arms. I think it was, actually. That Voldemort spear. Good. You know, LeBlanc and her gang aren't really providing a lot of support or help here. You and is supposed to be kind of distracted in thoughts of Titus, which is understandable. There's a connection. Everything is connected. What are you? I can feel it. Zen on us now. So I can't help but suspect that this is, in fact, some kind of puzzle. I'm waiting for controls to show up where we somehow affect the movement of these and have to arrange them to advance. But I could be totally wrong. Wow, impressive. We are gathering information. Continue on ahead if you would. You guys really should learn not to tell me what to do. And yeah, so you can't actually hop down there and do anything with them. So never mind. Phoenix down times five. 
suppose in theory that you could be hurting for Phoenix Downs right about now. So that's not a horrible thing for the game to give you, a couple Phoenix Downs, especially after fighting that those bosses, uh, boss that uses, like, death as a spell. Like, that can be a thing. Oh, I'm sure glad that wall was there. Um, alright, well. Bell Spears, okay. Nothing seems to happen with that one. Got a high potion. Don't really quite know what's going on. I don't know. I keep hoping to run into the uh, stone dragony gaze dudes uh, so I can get Heaven's Cataract on uh, pain and feel fulfillment in my life. So I dropped down from... Okay, so... I'm making this more complicated than it is. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing something, but... Oh, wait a second. I did end up someplace different here. Okay, so you keep monkeying around with it, you will find a couple of corn. Yeah, those are important, because I think I know what that treasure chest is, and it is something that we definitely want to get. I think now we... Oh, never mind. Now I want to go over here. And actually advance up here. I wonder if we had to be in that one very specific hallway to fight the uh, Heaven's Cataract guys. There's other enemies that use it. It's not the end of the world if we don't get it for pain here, but um, I'm not going to uh, put the Charm Bangle back on until we've gotten it. There we go. Although, I feel like... The save sphere might mean that we're just about done here. But I could be completely wrong. You scored the Dark Knight Dress Sphere. <laughs> the city just showed you that it's ready to believe in good. Only because the city spirit hasn't been broken completely. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so the Dark Knight Dress Sphere, um, which <laughs> really, in my previous places of the game, I don't think I ever really associated with the Batman. But uh, now I do. Um, fight with the sword and use magical arts known as Arcana. Or Arcana. It's got a scary skull symbol. Bitter farewell. Um. I don't think she has too much to learn as a uh, regular old knight. It is, uh, excellent. Um. It doesn't necessarily have the best skills for you to learn, because most of what you're learning 
are arcana type skills. Like Demi, yeah, it's pretty freaking worthless. Uh, anything that would be worth using it on is immune to it. It, it features Yuna wearing a really stupid hat, uh, the whole dress fear. Um, Drain's not bad at all. Sharon, sacrifice life to heavily damage one enemy. Not as useful as you as you might think. I and mean, you might not think it's that useful. It makes you, like, just having it on makes you immune to a couple of status ailments once you learn these proof skills. So those, that's pretty good. Uh, eventually you can learn Confuse, and that's going to be really helpful for trying to get black or uh, blue magic skills because we'll be able to confuse enemies, hopefully, without having to use um, ultimate dress sphere tactics, which end up freaking killing them. But this is the real point: sacrifice HP to damage all enemies. Doesn't take much to learn it, but oddly enough, uh, you you use. AP to learn a skill to heavily damage one enemy after sacrificing your, you know, sacrifice your own life. I don't know if that kills you or what, but that's a sacrifice life. This says sacrifice HP. So I believe, yeah, Sharon, you actually die and deal big damage to one enemy. But darkness is really good because you lose hit points, but it's not that much. But I, I don't remember exactly how much it is. But the point is that you use this, uh, this non-elemental attack that damages all enemies. And essentially, it's it's not affected by defenses. It's not a physical attack. It's not considered. It's not computed as a magical attack. It's just it's just this attack that like you damage all enemies. So like if you're up against like cactuars, which have an incredibly high evasion rate, darkness is going to kill them. If you're up against something that has like really high physical defense, darkness is going to kill it. So one of the things that makes the game a little broken once you figure it out. Is pretty much any boss that, uh, if you can equip accessories and stuff that will prevent it from, like, killing you outright before you can get it off the ground. A viable strategy against pretty much anything in the game is two Dark Knights constantly using darkness while an alchemist constantly uses Mega Potion. And unless it is killing you so fast that 2,000 uh, hit points of recovery to all characters every turn is not uh, enough to keep you alive, that will win. And you start off already knowing it. You don't even have to learn it. It's great. So we're going to have everyone set to learn bio because the only skill in this whole uh, thing that I really care about learning is probably going to be confused. Since um, if you're actually using uh, this dress sphere, you're probably just using uh, darkness anyway. But not it's actually going to be one yet because eventually we might want to switch to it. So that we can actually see it in action with animations and stuff. Let's do that now. Actually, you know what let's do now? Let's do something that we've been meaning to do for a long time, but it is kind of spontaneously remembered. Let's uh, use Riku's Ultimate Dress Sphere. Which will also involve you getting to see her switch to Dark Knight anyway. She doesn't say anything, even though this is the first time she's transformed into the Dark Knight. The helmets, with their, like, entirely too much spikiness, are silly. But otherwise, um, even the shoulder pads being spiky doesn't bother me that much. It's actually a more legitimately threatening knight, and more realistic, like, knight plate mail than the warrior costumes, which both basically just throw them Bobo pointed out, probably not black leather. That might just be my thing. But, um, Payne, for example, wearing, like, a lot of black cloth. But, yeah, the, the warrior costumes are pretty silly. The black knights, if it wasn't for the, uh, the helmets, they wouldn't be too bad at all. But now we're gonna change into Riku's Machinima Dress Sphere. And the only issue is that I forgot to you're not going to get to see the actual transformation sequence. Or will you? No, you won't. Yeah, I feel bad. I should have waited until... Um, I should have switched it back so that you could see all of uh, 
We'll do that eventually. We'll let you see the transformation sequence. But yeah, you see Riku in a little like body suit there riding on a robot monster. Roman the Roman. And this is its best attack, which I unlocked at great length. <laughs> and it kind of kills everything dead. Yeah, she's dressed up as like Commander Shepard, and uh, this is her favorite robot to ride on the Citadel. And I should have um, actually put the uh, transformation sequences back onto full. But if I was going to do that, I also would have wanted to switch Riku to a different uh, dress or sphere grid because I wouldn't want to have to like fight all that shit over and over and over. Now, I don't know if this thing is almost over already, but if it is, I need to be thinking about generates a constant regen effect not bad but do I have anything that prevents stop Yuna should be immune to stop because she's got ribbon a boss is coming up which has um Ah, Kinesis Badge. That'll do it. Feels like a cheat knowing that it's coming, but boy, it was irritating the first time through. And since I did save before fighting him, it, them, I didn't, um, I didn't bother to go back, and uh, I think I just beat the fight on the first try and was really irritated by it, but, uh, when we get to this boss, I will explain which attack inflicts stop, and it's very frustrating. Because the same attack does uh, inflict stop and also uh, eliminates all of your MP for the character it hits. It only hits one character, thank goodness. Be kind of a showstopper otherwise. Yep, this is him. The Gullwings. I was wondering who was there. Hey, Bear Lie, what's up, buddy? You don't have to tell me. I know why you've come. You're here to destroy the weapon that threatens all Spira, Vegna Gun. Yep, so step aside. If it could be destroyed, we would have done so long ago. But it rules us. Vegna Gun must not be touched. Neither you nor Nuge seem to understand that. So I must kill you using Nuge. Vegna Gun. He cannot be trusted. And you can be? Yep. Touche. Yes, I suppose Yevon has brought that distrust upon itself. You're right. I turn it over to you, Riku. You are now in charge of the weapon that can destroy all of Spira. At any rate, you need not interfere. Leave Vegna Gun to me. You can trust me. I have Sephiroth here. Destroy Spira. The only thing I can do. Kill you. Keep those who would seek to harm Vegna Gun away. Please leave. Yuna. Riku. Let's kill him. I'm going. Kill him now. Pain. Is what's coming for you. What are you doing? So I have a feeling this is going to be kind of underwhelming because I'm so overleveled, but this battle can be a real pain in the butt. I am telling you that for reals. So, Glint is not it. Still a Charm Bangle, so I can switch away from the stupid-ass um, Thief Dress Fear now. The Praetor of New Yevon, his actions are decidedly suspicious. Still, he seems to have his reasons. He is not immune from the breaks. These are the breaks. Um... He is immune to a lot of other stuff. He's not immune to poison. Hmm. So he's only got 3,000 something hit points, but I tell you the truth, folks. There's two things I remember about this fight. He has an attack that eliminates your MP and inflicts stop, which is a big pain in the ass, because I didn't realize that remedy re removes stop. Uh, the first time I was playing this, so I kept waiting it out, and it, it it's very irritating to be down to two party members uh, when you're used to having three. 
He also has a blue magic attack. Uh, but it only hits one party member at a time, and it's difficult to figure out when the hell he's going to do it, or what party member he's going to do it on. Although, apparently, like, I, I read somewhere, there's actually a, a fact you can kind of hack sort his AI and, and control which character he's going to use it on. Because apparently he always uses it on, I think, the eighth turn, on whoever last changed his hit points, whether it was by increasing or decreasing them, and whatever, whatever. Like, you can kind of trick, trick it a bit, but... There's a blue magic attack that only Barrelite ever uses, so you don't have a whole lot of opportunities to learn it, um, is the thing. There's an optional dungeon later in the game, which I don't even know if we're going to get to do on the first playthrough, where you get another chance to fight Barrelite, but under normal conditions, he would be a one-time battle. So, this is it. Let's, uh, I didn't even notice if, uh, darkness was a thing. But it would be a Suffer. looming glacier. That's the one that would have inflicted stop and um, Demi. Well, gravity eater might have actually been handy there. He seems to be obsessed with hitting pay, uh, pain, so we'll leave her in place to get hit with this. Uh, I don't want Yuna to get hit with this attack that they can actually learn, because... Oh, you know what? It wouldn't do any harm at all for Yuna to actually use uh, Protect, since that seems to be his... Suffer! Suffer! Uh, suffer. Ah! So, yeah, the... The having an Alchemist healing... Since they don't need MP is a big thing against him because that attack. First time I fought him, he's attacking your MP directly. You're taking the hell out of me. All of my tactics were based on using MP, and he just would never seem to use. Um... Now I could turn Yuna into a. Uh... No, Yuna can't actually turn into a warrior. But I, I want to power break him so he's not doing damage with these things while we wait for him to use the attack we actually wanted to use. This would be really easy if we had access to White Wind, although White Wind requires MP, so that's out too. He might not use it till we attack him. Oh, and I can't use a power break on, an, on him anyway because he uh, took away all the MPs. So let's have Pain actually attack him. Suffer. Otherwise, you're just trying to sort of stay alive. Which isn't that hard, because I'm way over-leveled. But he's not using the damn attack that you can actually learn. I could use something on him to keep him alive and then have him get attacked again. Like, I'm trying to change up his pattern a bit here. If I can get anybody other than Yuna to learn the attack, I can turn them into a um, alchemist and just this whole thing, I'll be much more confident that it's going to work. We can just wait him out. It's nice that Protect doesn't seem to wear off. Would have been a really good idea to use Power Break on him once or twice before he hit everybody with Looming Glacier. But yeah, you can imagine if um, everybody who had been hit with Looming Glacier, which at this point is everyone, had at some point also been... Um... Ooh, that was a critical hit there. Be careful with that. I don't want to kill him. I mean, I could easily kill him. And even at low levels, it's not that tough to kill him. But I don't want to kill him before I've learned his blue magic. I 
Riku's in trouble. Protect might have worn off. Yep, it's not a hard battle, it's just kind of annoying to try to learn the blue magic. Ah! To turn Riku into a thief and have her try to... Across the white and the blue both, she could learn uh, Dark Touch, which might be handy. I don't know if... Um, I'm trying to steal some MP and then maybe try to... Um, maybe find a way to do something useful. Can she power break him so that he's just not hurting us? That hurt him bad, though. It's not over. Ah, fuck! I... Damn it! He used it on Yuna, who was in the wrong dress sphere, and it killed her in one shot. And now Riku lost all of her MP, so she can't power break him anymore. But when he says it's not over, then you know he's about to use it on. I did. I thought he was going to use it on Riku, actually. Well, I'll have Dark Touch on him, if uh, this works. Suffer. Yeah, this is going to be a long battle now, it seems like, because he just won't frickin' uh, use that attack on the people we want him to. But I guess every eight things you do to him that affects his hit points or something? Where's his hit points at now? And why doesn't it mention his crazy uh, drill shot attack? His strength is down too. And he's not immune to, to uh, blind. So having Riku periodically attack him. Okay, we inflict the darkness on him. That's not going to do a damn thing about his um, glint and uh, stuff. But it will cause him to suffer. Ah! Maybe I can get pain to, uh... No, she's just as far away as uh, Riku is. I want to try to, like, carefully, um... Ah! Carefully reduce his attack strength so that he's not such a pain in the ass while we just wait for him to do the damn attack we need him to do. But I gotta be careful. I don't want to take away all of his MP or he won't be able to use that blue magic. Maybe. I think it works that way? Suffer. 
And he says suffer before doing Looming Glacier, so I was really afraid he was going to do it to Riku there. And he didn't, so that's good. So she starts to transform, has to stop because she's attacked, starts to transform again. Now be careful, Riku, don't kill him. We have to keep him alive to study his techniques. He's back down to nothing. So we'll steal up from him again. And eventually, I think, once he's not doing any damage anymore, except with Demi, then I'm going to need to, um... I'm going to need to, um... to start using potions to heal him and attacking him so that everyone can be in the blue mage outfit. At least until somebody learns the damn thing. And hopefully I haven't screwed it up by taking away his MP. It's not over. Damn it, that's a new costume. We need to... Damn it, damn it, damn it. Whoa. Well, he, um... Seems to have been able to cast that, even though Riku stole less MP from them than before. Which had me worrying that maybe we'd actually eliminated all of his... Oh, you ass! Alright, so go back to the, um... The previous plan here. I think he can use it even without MP. Yeah, now he's out of MP, which means you don't have MP to steal from him. How many, uh, ethers have we got? 99. We must be... There must be some way that I can get them. I don't know what it is, though. Is there anything that actually, um... I'm not gonna use Mega Elixirs at this point. Suffer. I'm wondering if there's some kind of item which will actually, uh... Well, you know what? He's not doing that much damage. Fuck it. Everyone switch over to blue, uh... Pimon Jr. He's not doing that much damage anymore. Everyone just be ready to go with the... Blue Mage thing. Attack him, and then heal him with, the uh, high potions. You used a high potion before somebody heat attacked him. I thought somebody was gonna freaking attack him. Oh, I think he's going for it. Maybe. No. I guess he's going for Glint. Man's gotta learn his own limitations, Glint. <laughs> okay. He's missing a lot because he's blind. He's he's doing about half damage. Suffer. Suffer. That's the other thing. I the the phrase suffer is one of my things I remember best about this game. And a lot of that's because of, you know, this battle takes forever if you want to get all three girls to learn the blue magic. But I do. I want that. He's hitting an awful lot, considering he's been hit with the blind status effect. Suffer. I really wish Absorb was free.
Every time I hit him on board, we're going to finish him off. Okay. Somebody will learn it this time. Riku actually learned it. <laughs> Look at Riku's butt sticking up in the air there. Uh, how long has this thing been going on? Can I make two videos out of this, or do I... I need to just end it, though. I actually kind of need to be done LPing for the night here. Um, all right, we're going to call it the, a video right in the middle of a boss fight. Should I do that? I have no idea how much long this is going to take. Uh, no, we're going to let this one go long so that as soon as it's done, I can I can end it and not have to go another 30 minutes if I can hopefully finish in less than 30 and learn all the attacks that need to be learned here. Oh wait, Riku can now change to uh, Alchemist. If she doesn't die. Okay, yeah, now Riku knows it. She can she can uh, be an Alchemist. I didn't even bother to read the description of the... Just to be on the safe side and... We will heal him up without even waiting for Riku, who could do it for free. You know she's doing it for free! So that's what I should have done, of course. So yeah, you, he doesn't do it often. You have to keep doing stuff to change his hit points. I guess every... I don't remember. There was there's some rules on it that you can find. Suffer. I'm desperately afraid of accidentally taking him out too quickly because we're too powerful for this fight. Ben just got so much other stuff I got to showcase too that we haven't had a chance to see. He's got a little over 3,000 hit points, so it seems unlikely that two attacks and then a full heal will be enough, ever. It's not over. Okay, please don't do it on Riku. Oh, excellent. Okay. Now Riku can change, and or Yuna can change into an alchemist. And now it's just up to... Um, If it works the way I think it does, I actually probably want to avoid having the girls who've already learned this healing him. I probably want to have pain alternating between attacking him and healing him. It's about 600. He's about 1800 now. Now she can heal him. Suffer. Oh, that wasn't a full heal. So we might want to do another one. It's not the end of the world if he uh, uses uh, it on one of the girls who already knows it. It's just be irritating if we keep keep having that happen. Just make it take a lot longer. Waste more high potions, which are such a rare commodity, you know. Suffer. Suffer. That's gonna be the. Call. That's the I got. I gotta try to remember that. That's. As I'm recording, that's my my idea for the title of this video. Suffer! And just the description, probably. Or maybe the dis title will be something else and the description will be... Suffer! Kind of looks like he's... He looked like he was lining up to... to give pain a... What for? Oh, I think it's coming. I think this is it. Yeah. She actually went down. 
So we get her back, and we take him out. And we stole another charm bangle from him too, so that's pretty awesome. Suffer. Suffer. You're gonna get defeated by a bunch of alchemists. No, better yet, let's turn her to a dark knight and have... We'll get to see her awesome transformation as she decides to take Barrel Eye out. Alright, punk. I tried to be nice. I didn't try that hard, but still. We'll actually see the darkness attack. Not that impressive to look at, but... It's the centerpiece of all major anti-boss strategies. Oh, he's absorbing magic points and hit points. I know he could do that. So I guess if we didn't already know that... It's a nice way to take him out, though. Darkness right to the back. So we got a little bit more experience than we gained from all those fights against Geo Sarsaparilla. And uh, we got a pearl necklace, because Barrel Eye was wearing one. Sorry, I'm going ahead. I want to back off and reasons. save. Fill us in later, okay? Much That's none of your later. business. Wait up! Maybe, maybe when I'm on my deathbed. With so many things woven together. Uh huh. What could be waiting where the threads meet? Uh, like a big clump of... Can I... Oh, good. I was really hoping I would be allowed to back up. So... Oh, it's her MP is at zero. For some reason, like, I saw... I thought Pain had died. I was like, what? Well, I was expecting that fight to go. So, um... I guess I'll put... I have to keep Pain on this. What the hell? Um... I guess I'll think about what I want everyone to be equipped with next time. But what I wanted to check was um, gun mage stuff here. So absorb, which we could have learned from him actually, because he used it against us. But drill shot, damage one enemy. That's all the description we get. Heaven's cataract. Appears on the surface to be better than drill shot, but I believe drill shot is going to do more damage. Several of the blue magics are just like, oh, this is a unique attack a boss uses. Isn't it cool you get to use it too? But when you use it, it's just damage. Nothing really special going on with it. So we've got it now. Having gotten the ribbon, the uh, dress sphere, the garment grid, and the blue magic that's available down here. I think we've done a pretty complete clear of this whole thing. But obviously next time, um, having defeated Barely, who was trying to stop anyone who would threaten Vegnagun, as he said, uh, now I guess we gotta step up to Vegnagun or see what the heck's going on with that. So we just defeated a major plot boss, but uh, presumably things are gonna get a lot more interesting in the next video. And uh, part of me wanted to just uh, split it couple minutes ago, um, but I really also kind of needed to, to wrap up this recording, so uh, rather than getting another like 15 minutes worth of content here and splitting after the fact, I'm just going to let this video go long, and uh, when we come back, folks, it uh, looks like we're going to go in there and deal with Vegnagun, and uh, I mean, who knows what else might happen. We, um, we went into the room where that sphere that appeared to have Titus in it was recorded. So, is Titus uh, wandering around down here? Is Barely been keeping that secret from us? What is Barely's secret? Why does a seemingly nice guy want to protect the weapon that can destroy all of Sphera and told us it can't be destroyed? Maybe we'll find out next time. Maybe we won't. Either way, I will see you then. Bye-bye.